Hello crafty friends, this is card number 34 in the full deck challenge. I'm going to start by adding a layer of tissue paper. The tissue paper is from an old dress pattern and I'm going to attach that with some Mod Podge. I also add a thin layer of Mod Podge on the top. This is just to protect the tissue paper which is really fine and can tear easily. Once all the Mod Podge is dry, I'm just going to tear off the excess. I'm not going to cut it because I do want a raw edge, but you could trim it with the scissors if you want it to be a little neater. I want to define the edges a little bit, so I'm going to use a black watercolour pencil. I just dip the point of the pencil in some water and then I draw around the edge. As I go along, I also do some smudging with my finger to blend it in a bit. I would love if you subscribed to my channel and also click the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. You can join in my full deck challenge at any time and there's hardly any rules. You can find us on Facebook, just search full deck challenge group. This is a piece of watercolour paper. I'm going to cut it into a rectangle shape, just slightly smaller than the card face. This will act as the backdrop of my embellishment. I'm just trimming it slightly because when I paste it down I want the word joker to be visible. Once I have the right size I'm just scrunching up the edges and curling up the corners. I don't want it to lie flat, I want it to look a little bit used and rustic. So I'm just using my fingers to rough up the edges a little bit and then I'm going to paste it down with some Mod Podge. You could also use craft glue, a glue stick or double sided tape. I'm going to add some interest so it's not just plain white and I'm going to do some stamping with black ink and this script stamp. I'm now going to use a black fine liner pen and I'm going to go around the edge of the white section to make it look a little bit like stitching. I was going to run it under the sewing machine then I thought I would not use a sewing machine for this one so I'm just doing a little bit of a rough edge very dotted lines not very smooth with a few little zigzags to make it look like stitching and I think it gives it um, a good contrast and nice detail. Before I build my embellishment cluster, I want to add some splatter for contrast. This is Dilution's ink spray, the colour is called Desert Sand. So I'm just going to splash some on top. As well as splashing the ink, I'm also splashing water. So some of the droplets are getting watered down and becoming a lighter colour. I'm going to do the same with some black uh, Distress ink. I don't have that in a spray bottle, I have it in a um, a pad so I just press the pad onto a acrylic block add some water and it becomes liquidy so you can use it like paint I'm now going to start building my embellishment cluster I'm going to add lots of layers of texture I'm going to add some cheesecloth and a piece of this hessian ribbon type of thing I'd found it um, in one of the two dollar shops just in a roll and I love the texture it creates I'm going to use my little hummingbird as a focal point. This hummingbird is available from this set of decoupage papers available from Little Birdie Crafts. I'll put a link to their website in the description below and also there is a discount code where you can get a lovely discount if you make a purchase. I've also added a piece of the spiral edge from an old calendar that's a lovely tan vintagey colour. I've also bunched up some black string which I think adds contrast for the black on the bird and I'm just piling that up until it's aesthetically pleasing and then I'm going to glue everything down. I tried using some wooden little pieces, some little leaves but in the end I didn't think it suited the piece so I didn't go with that idea. I use my glue gun a lot, you could also paste this down with a glue stick or craft glue. Now when I put my bird down I felt that it needed a pop of colour of some sort so I've got a piece of muted turquoise, just cardstock and I've punched a 1.5 inch circle and I'm going to put that behind the bird to make the focal point pop. 
I've applied no glue to the cheesecloth or hessian ribbon. I just apply the hot glue behind the circle and when I press that down it glues all the layers together. I've placed now my hummingbird on top and I'm just going to use a little bit of craft glue just for the beak and the wing where I couldn't get the hot glue there. It's a very thin little piece of uh, paper so I'm just going to use that to press it down. Let me show you a close-up of what the card looks like. I think it's got some beautiful textures and I'm happy with the way the colors turned out and I'm quite pleased with the final result. I hope you like it too. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do hope you enjoyed it and were inspired by it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye!